What is up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another juicy video. As you guys can see by the title, we are doing a beauty vlog today, okay? I am so sick of looking like a dry, crusty, busty, musty beast in the face, okay? I know I'm being exaggerating, but I've been feeling really under the weather. Hold on, let me fix the camera so you guys can see me. Okay, we're good, okay. <laughs> I've been feeling really under the weather over winter break, so my skin has been looking like I feel under the weather. So I need a little pick me up, okay? I absolutely love um, running errands and just like doing my whole like beauty maintenance routine. So I thought to take you guys with me on a couple appointments that I do that makes me really feel like myself again and a part of just like my beauty maintenance routine. So the first thing that I'm going to get done today is toes and brows. I still get my toes done in the winter, fight me. Okay, because I do, because you need to, okay? Your feet in the winter is when it is the most important to get them done because your feet is dry, that the skin is not getting any like outside, like moisture or access or anything because your feet are just stuffed in some boots or Uggs and some gym shoes and they're not getting any type of TLC, you know? So my feet need some TLC. If I'm not doing my feet at home, I usually do my pedicures at home, not like paint my toes, but like I like scrub my feet and like get all the flaky stuff off my feet I prefer to get a pedicure because I feel like of course they do a better job than me and then like I can't paint my toes okay I am like a two-year-old trying to draw in the lines when it comes to me painting my toes it's it's the worst so I would rather pay somebody else to do it <laughs> and then I'm gonna get my brows done I haven't got my brows done in like a hot minute I'm just gonna get them arched um, yeah those are the agenda today tomorrow we're gonna get a facial I gotta do my hair and I don't know what I'm gonna do to my nails I might not do them I just got my nails done I don't know if you guys can see them that I just got my nails done last week for Christmas and they look pretty good I do need a fill in but I think I can go like one more week okay so yeah let's go ahead and get our day started all right you guys so it is pedicure time so I go to this place that is down the street from my house like literally walking distance and the first time I ever came here I was like um ma'am where is the water bowls that I'm supposed to put my feet in she's like oh ma'am we do waterless pedicures here we do not uh do the bowl thing and I was like huh this experience you would never think is nice but it is ever since I got my first waterless pedicure I absolutely love it okay the girl who does my feet her name is Jennifer she does such a great job and she is so gentle you'd be surprised how dirty the water bowls are at the regular salons anyway so this is a really like hygienic way to like really make sure like your feet is clean and things of that nature like she does such a great job of just like getting my heels and making sure she gets all the calluses well I don't know if I have calluses let me not speak that over my life okay but she does such a great job of just getting all of just the dirt and grime and just dryness off my feet right now is the foot massage part she is giving me the most gorgeous scrub this is a lavender scrub that I really like to get when I come here I am so glad that she scrubbed my feet because for some reason I always forget to scrub my feet in the shower like I'll scrub my whole ex scrub and exfoliate my whole body but forget my feet I know that might sound dirty but it's true okay so I'm so glad she uh finish that for me um so after she got done, done with that now she's doing my cuticles I absolutely hate this part okay I have PTSD from being cut by other nail salons when doing my cuticles so anytime that I am getting my cuticles cut whether that's on my toes or on my fingers I am holding my breath because I have had a lot of bad experiences but that's what happens when you go to those nail salons that do not care about you know giving you TLC they just want to get you in and out of there and when I come to this place they don't just want to get me in and out of there okay they gave me great customer experience and just all the TLC and love that I need okay because they know that I'm sensitive and my feet is sensitive so after she gets done giving me the best massage of my entire life now it's time to paint these piggies so at first I was gonna get a French tip I always get a French tip when I get a pedicure I just love how a French tip looks on my toes but I said to myself no one's gonna see my feet besides my house and my boyfriend so why am I getting a French tip okay I just need to keep it cute and simple so I just thought to get just a little clear pink polish and a glitter top coat just to give it a little razzle dazzle so it won't look so it won't look so plain but I love how my feet came out I I think it looks so cute my feet felt so soft and really shiny and pretty after this experience i absolutely love getting a waterless pedicure so definitely check this out 
if you ever want to try something new with getting a pedicure definitely check out a waterless pedicure next up is brows i go to walmart to get my brows done but unfortunately they would not let me record the process of getting my brows waxed and my upper lip wax so that was it okay i just showed you what it looked like in the bathroom <laughs> next is facial this is my absolute favorite place to go to in naperville in naperville illinois this place is called face fondue and i absolutely love how gentle and just great they are with their hands here okay i forgot the lady's name that i go to all the time but i go to the same lady here and she just does such a great job right now i'm just getting like just a glow facial just to wake my skin up because like i said my skin is just really dry and dull because i've been sick so right now she's just giving me a nice massage and a scrub and like i said she is just her hands are literally from God okay when it comes to her just like massaging my face and just like making me feel so relaxed throughout this video you're gonna see me a couple times me opening my eyes just to make sure that the camera is angled right and that it is in the center because I was falling asleep okay that's how good she is I was falling asleep she always puts me to sleep when she does my face was like I'd be knocked out like snoring okay it'd be embarrassing she has to wake me up to be like girl the facial is over time to wake up now I like to come and get a facial at least once a month and ever since I've been keeping up with this routine, I have noticed a huge difference in my skin. I just feel like I just can't get deep into my pores and massage and clean my skin like the professionals can. So I really take it serious to make sure that I come in here every single month. Right now what, I'm, what she's doing to my skin is just a deep tissue massage. I've always added deep tissue massage onto my facials because it just feels so good. Like I never knew you had that much tension in your face and she just grabs all the tension out of my face like I just absolutely love when she does this one time I came in here with a migraine and she did this and the migraine was completely gone I also like to add gua sha as well not only do I do gua sha here but I do gua sha at home and I take gua sha very serious at home and ever since I've been keeping up with my gua sha I have really seen a difference in my skin so I always make sure when I get a facial that I also add a gua sha routine facial as well because I absolutely love gua sha. Now that she's done giving me the best facial, now she's just putting a little lip oil on these crusted lips because my lips was crusty the whole video. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it was. <laughs> and then this is the final results. Look at my skin, absolutely glowing, okay? I cannot get my skin to look like this at home. It looks so nice. Now it's time to tackle this hair. So I already washed my sew-in a couple weeks ago. If you wanna see all the products and the routine on how I wash my sew-ins when I have weave in my hair definitely check out my tiktok i give like a really depth example and all the products i use to wash my hair but right now i just want to give myself a curl so i'm going in with my sharp flex style device that i just bought a couple weeks ago that i actually really like but to make this product work i mean to get the device to work you have to wet your hair when you want to curl it so right now i'm just blow drying it because i had it a little bit too wet but now i'm going in with the flex rod and you just put it on the device and basically you just wrap your hair around it. Like I said, I'm not a pro at doing this. This is like my second time doing this. So I'm still learning how to get the, the air wrap to wrap around itself without me, without me manually doing it. But basically you just, you know, just wrap your hair around it and you just, you just go. And it really does give you really pretty, not so tight curls. And that's what I also like about it. The curls are not too tight. It's like loose and beach wave and it comes out really, really cute, but you have to get it wet. Like it will not work unless like you wet the hair. And then I also, notice too for my second time doing this that you have to use like small sections to be able to get it to work I was in a rush and I was hot so I wasn't using small sections so that's why it looks so wow but it came out really cute like this is like giving medium try of me really doing it and it came out like this I feel like it got the job done and it looks really really cute and curly now I'm gonna just take some hairspray just to keep the curls intact this is the Kendra lightweight super volume hairspray and I am done with my hair like I said I love it it came out really cute it's like beach girls thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog i love you guys so much don't forget to follow my social medias and i will see you guys next week bye